Hello, my name is Pedro Gonzalez and today I will be running a workshop to raise awareness in unconscious bias. Today to break the ice, we will be doing a short activity in which there will be a thread that will be passed around the table. And once you receive the thread, you will present yourself, give your name, and also you will think of a time where your parents would have to move to a completely different country and have, have to find a job in that different country and how they will feel by being the minority. Hey guys, my name is Steve and in one word to describe the situation it will be disappointing. Hey guys, my name is John and to describe this situation of moving to a different country in one word it would be difficult. Hello guys, my name is Thomas. Anthea would be the one word to describe being the minority. Yes, very right. Thank you guys. So here we actually have unfair, difficult and disappointing to be the minority. Well, all this actually also links to the theory of today that I will be describing as ideology. What does ideology actually stand for? Ideology is our beliefs and our ways of looking at the world and how the world sees us in particular. Now, on the other hand, what happens when ideology meets unconscious bias? We can tell that employers will have a perspective on what they want to hire. So obviously, they will want to hire somebody who is of dominance, someone who is most possibly a male. And usually you can tell that in cultures, most of the people who are successful would be the white colored individuals. This brings us to how unfair, how difficult and how disappointing it is for any other race, for any other genders, for any other cultures, religions, to have to go against that. Now, how do we become aware that we have an ideology going around in our company. Well, it's pretty easy to figure it out. We have to go around and just look around and see how many people come from the same background. Is there anyone that has had a different background around us? Is there anyone that comes from a different culture, a different religion? If they're from a different age, even. Now, how do we implement diversity? How can we actually become more diverse and more proactive in the work that we do? Well, there's five steps in implementing diversity. There's plan, governance, assessment, policy, and implementation practice. To plan, we need to plan on how can we actually meet our goals, what our goals are going to be, or how much diversity do we want to achieve within the next 10 years. Governance, somebody needs to be in charge of diversity and trying to meet diversity every year. Assessment. We need to gather information yearly to see how diversity is tracking. We need to monitor things like age, gender, pay gaps, and we actually need to monitor ethnicities as well. Policy. There has to be a diversity policy. The diversity policy will be able to create change from within the company. It will thrive the change that we need to get where we want and how to meet our goals. And lastly, we have implementation. By implementation, it means we need to start hiring people from different backgrounds, from different ethnicities, people from different religions, genders, people from different ages, all type of different ages, people who are older have more experience that they can bring into the company, people who are from different backgrounds, they have a different point of view. And that is what's actually gonna start driving diversity and making us more productive and more efficient. Once we're done with the implementation of diversity, that's when we actually become and start creating this ideology of having the diversity ideology. By having that, we start changing everyone's minds and seeing how it is very normal to actually be diverse. How it is actually very different and not so well looked at when diversity 
is not present at a workplace. And this is all for today. I hope that the unconscious bias awareness course for, from today was actually very helpful for you. And I really hope that you can manage to make any further changes in your company and that your lawyers in the future will all become to be more diverse of different ages, genders, cultures, religions, and you become a lot more successful and productive. Thank you.